Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to my Advanced Builders tutorial series. If you're looking for something for beginners, make sure to check out the description for a playlist linked below for, again, more beginner uh, beginner builders in The Sims 4. So today I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom windows. Of course, we do have lots of beautiful options, but when it comes to the more modern ones, there are some tips and tricks to sort of make the plain ones look more custom. So let's go ahead and create just a, just a wall here. Actually, maybe we'll do a room. We'll just create a little room. All right, so there's a little house space so we can get started. Um, now the window that I'm gonna be using today, and of course you could use any window and get creative, but I'm gonna use the base game, let there be more light. It is just a very basic, modern two tile window and it kind of gives us an extra canvas to play around with. So there's plenty of different objects you can do this with. I will show you some of my favorites to get started. So if we go into the wall decorations, um, and again, you're gonna need different backpacks different packs to get some of these items. Um, but there is the chrome wall panel that came with Get to Work. And in the white, it happens to match this one pretty closely. So you can use this and of course hit shift so that it duplicates. And you can just kind of create your own designs. So you can either go across the entire window like that. You can maybe just do the bottom half like so. And it just adds a little something extra to the window so they don't look like your plain boring ones. And they, of course, they come in different colors. So I think this one comes in black, but it is more, more of like a like a, a silver than a black. I'm not sure if there's a matching window frame, but let's see. Oh, actually, there you go. It matches the black window frame perfectly. So you can do that as well. You can maybe just put one at the top instead uh, and just create your own little designs. So some other objects that work well with this are, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Um, the unfulfilled wall sign that came with dine out. And again, it just kind of creates a panel on the window. Um, I don't know exactly what you would use this for, but you can sort of place it wherever you want to create your own little window shapes. Now, some other awesome objects to do this with are wall dividers, because they just fit perfectly in between the wall and the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and type divider in here. And the, well actually, oh, these are really cool too. The slat wall room dividers that came with dine out. If you place that there, you can see from the inside and the outside, it actually sits exactly in between the wall and the window. So it's not gonna jet out anywhere and look funny. Uh, you can maybe move it up one if you want. So you have the same amount of room on the bottom and the top. It does have like the little lip that sticks out on the bottom, but that actually doesn't bother me too much. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then this one, the one with the circle in it also looks cool as well. So maybe we'll do it like that. And you can just see the different types of things you can start creating with the windows. Uh, some of the other fun wall dividers that this actually looks really cool with is this one that came with City Living. And again, you could do more neutral colors or you kind of kind of pick some of the crazy colors as well, like this pink and purple one. And it just makes the cutest little window designs I've ever seen. <laughs> the divider that came with bowling looks super cute as well. Uh, you just kind of stick it there. And again, this one comes in fun colors too. Um, like the black and orange, there you go. Of course, when you go at your different angles, you're gonna see those colors a little bit better. But yeah, that is one of the ways that I like to make windows look different than they normally would. Um, there are, there's more dividers, obviously. You can use other objects too, just kind of to get creative, but this one maybe, the lip on the bottom makes it harder. <laughs> Ooh, the candles, that looks cool. Wow, that's kind of cool for a window. I don't know. It's different, right? It's different, but it looks neat. You can play with wall decals, of course. I don't know if any of them would be super cool for this, but um, let's see. Maybe if you were doing a kid's room, you can play with like the little decals and put those in the window. That's always cute. Oh, this object's kind of interesting too. This is all from, also from Dine Out. It's called the Dry Leaf Lattice. Um, would that work across two windows? Oh, that's kind of cool. That kind of works across both windows. Or if you just had one window, maybe you could just make it smaller. Maybe kind of lift it up. I wonder what two of those would look like. I don't know, I'm just getting creative. Obviously, like I said, you can use any item you want for this as long as it sort of fits well. That one won't go down, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> just just something to think about, something to just get your mind working a little bit differently, looking at items in different ways that maybe you're normally used to looking at them. And I love this type of stuff. So if you had fun, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I post tutorials. Well, I guess there's an entire tutorial series. There's a beginner's one and an advanced one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the next video. If you guys have any other ideas of what you want to see, make sure to comment below. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.